Extension from my sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a fun little Halloween project with you. This is a little envelope flip book. I use the brand new Doodlebug Design 6x6 Ghouls and Goodies paper collection. I use the 6x6 paper pad. I did have some leftover elements from last year's Doodlebug paper as far as some stickers and stuff that I had left over so I used those as well. So what it is is it's got the little sticker here. I punched out a little white circle um, with my scallop circle punch and then again these were from last year's little stickers that I had left over a little moon a couple of stars cute little haunted house and then it goes like this and this little spider sticker is again from last year's the solid um, orange card sack is from Stampin Up it's pumpkin pie and what it does it opens like this I've got a magnetic closure and I also added another little spider right there to that piece and then I went ahead and added a little pumpkin sticker from last year's to that and then three little candy corn to the inside. So this is my little belly band that's going to hold this closed. So on the first page, again, it's an envelope flip book, and I've done this for a while. It's it's um, it's an oldie, but it's really fun to add. You can add it as an insert to a mini album, or you can do it as a standalone. And I opted to use um, it as a standalone this time. You can use any kind of envelopes you want. It takes three envelopes to create this. On the front, I have this new little tag punch that I got from Stampin' Up, so I went ahead and used that to punch these little tags out. And then these little paper clips and these Halloween colors are also from Doodlebug. And then this is my Stampin' Up Owl Builder Punch. And I went ahead and made a little owl to put on the front there. And I'll have to plan on the back. And then I just punched this one out of the design paper and added a square of the orange pumpkin pie cardstock to the back. A little paper clip there. Love the cute little papers here. I left it plain on the front so you can put a photo there. And then each one, there's a pocket here that has a photo mat. These are some little brads that I had in my stash from last year's paper. And I just added those and some green cardstock for my stash. So it opens like this. And I have another little owl sticker from last year's paper line and a little black. I just put that on some black cardstock. I created a little side pocket here with the cute little witch. And I left it open here, and then I punched out three more of those little tags using that tag punch from Stampin' Up. A little ghost paper, candy, and again, it's just a design paper. No embellishing on there. I love a little spider paper. So then you have another pocket here. Again, this is another Brad from last year's paper collection. Right on the back. And then it flips open like this. Again, another little sticker from last year, and I put a little photo mat here in the center just to break up some of the colors. And then there's another tag here. And again, it says Boo on this side, another little Brad from, my, from last year's collection. So then it, you fold it back up and it opens this way. Again, I have a larger photo mat here. Again, I made a little side pocket with a couple more of the stickers, and then I punched out three of those little, using that tag punch and put some pumpkin pie on both sides to make little tiny photo mats for little tiny pictures. And then again there's another photo mat in the top of this one. I use my corner chompers. Um, again I use the scallop and the ticket stub in combination because I like that look. So then you fold it back this way and then it opens up this way you flip it over and then again you have another photo mat here on the back it opens like this and you have another tag here and I made a small little pocket here with another sticker scallop circle that I punched out and then these are some more um, brads that I had from last year's paper collection and then again another photo mat here this is, that's another um, brad from last year and it opens again like this and then I just glued this one down with a cute little ghost brad and a couple more stickers here. Another sticker from the last year's paper. And then I couldn't cover these cute little kids up or the owls. I thought they were really darling. So there you go. That's my little envelope flip book using the Doodlebug Designs Schools and Goodies paper collection. And again, it opens like this. So you have the front here. It opens like this, like this, like this. Flip it over. It opens like this. There you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.